Namaste guys, welcome to my channel, it's me, Little Miss Virgo. I'm Kerry, this is laid out bed. I haven't said Little Miss Virgo in ages, maybe I've got Virgos watching. I am a Virgo, alright? If you haven't been here before, I'm an intuitive psychic reader. I normally do my angel cards, okay, but I'm not going to do them, because I've done you two reads this morning, a part one and a part two, and it was very karmic and I don't want to do karmic okay? So... My angels have guided me to my um, unicorn cards, which I haven't done for ages. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to give them a shuffle, because um, every time I go to shuffle my other cards, I don't tend to shuffle, I end up doing them on the split. So, I hope you're alright guys, hope you're having a good Saturday, and we'll see how we go with these, because, like I said, these are my unicorn cards. I've had these for like, oh, blimey, 20 odd years. And um, I do go by the book because I find it easier. It is backwards, the um, video, because I'm on my tablet. Because I've um, run out of storage, all right? So, hope you're all right. If you like my channel, subscribe. If you um, haven't been here before, it's different every time. I don't normally do tarot, but I just fancy a change, all right? On the split, we've got simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of um excess all right guys and try something new all right you only know that you can do something if you try i love these cards i've had them so long sorry my face is on there it got my teeth in right they're lovely and i love this card because it looks like where i live i live in the new forest and there's a place i take the dogs like that but if you look at the card it's lovely look you've got the bridge over the back i always believe that you crossed over the bridge and now you're on the other side and uh Maybe you take your dog somewhere like this, and maybe you've got animals around you. You could have a a, a dog, um, two dogs, or you could have like a dog and a cat. And the sun's breaking through, look on that picture. I just love, I love, love, this is my favourite card out of the whole deck. So simplicity. So put your energy into the basics and let go of excess. I think excess stress, I was going to say then. So try something new, guys. All right, I'm not very good with this camera. It's a bit shut. But I'm not going to read them because I don't feel drawn to. And, uh, yeah, so if you like the channel, oh, look, just um, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Because, like I said, it is always different here. It's normally um, past, present, or future with my reads. But, um, like I said, this is going to be different today because I just fed up this karmic energy because I'm in a good mood. And I don't know if you are as well, but I just can't be arsed with it today. And uh, I don't want to get down because I've had a few videos I've done where I've got upset and it's quite draining. And um, I don't feel upset, so I feel very, 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 oh, happy. Family culture. Learn more about your family stories and history, guys. All right, I'm going to put another one. So angels and ancestors, guide me to what cards write. You'll know in the morning. When you wake up, you'll have a better idea about what to do. So just relax until then, guys, all right? You'll know in the morning. I know it's back to front, but take no notice because I'll read anyway. And we've got family culture. Learn more about your family stories and history. Maybe you're from a different culture or you've just got a different culture in your family. You might not even know that you have, all right? So we'll do these two. And on the split, we've got listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. Okay? I feel like someone turned their back on you. And, um, yeah, you're just carrying on doing what you're doing. But, yeah, I got this. I feel karma key on this one as well. I feel like this is someone thinking about you. I don't feel like they're coming back. I just think, and there's a glare on that. Someone's thinking about you. Maybe they're thinking about coming back. They're contemplating um what they've done yeah but listen to your true feelings guys okay don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong all right let go of stress don't take on other people's stress breathe it out now i'm going to leave these two cards like that all right just so i'll feel if i'm going to read them after or not okay so i don't know i don't really want to put them away for some reason so bear with me because i'm going to use my book because i find it easier but yeah this is family culture you might be um indian or you might be i'm feeling native american on this but it's only from the pictures and maybe um you got something to do with the desert or america and um i'm getting like arizona or Nova um 
yeah, Arizona I'm getting on this. Like Cherokee I'm getting as well. So um, we'll do the family culture first. I hope you can hear me right on this. And we'll see where we go. So, hope you have a good day. It's Saturday, guys. And just look after yourselves, all right? Just honestly, do stuff for you today. Right, we're nearly there. We're nearly, I'm getting better now with the book. Right, family culture. All right, guys. If I move the cards, I am sorry. I do get a bit distracted. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Oh, there. Oh, for God's sake, Carrie saw it out. I'm never organised, guys, and I'm not. It's not the greatest camera. All right. So, learn more about your family's story and histories, okay? Your family's history affects you in many ways. This card asks you to learn about the stories of your family's past. So, find out which countries your parents and relatives um, like came from. And there you go, confirmation, guys. How did they travel to their current location? What languages have been spoken? What jobs have your family members held? And the answers to these questions and more will help you understand yourself better, all right? So maybe like you come from a background that you know about and you're not you don't know too much about. It. A bit like me, I come from um German, Jewish, Polish. My nan and granddad were evacuated in the war to England, and my great granddads were in the Holocaust, so they was um gassed, which is terrible. And my great granddad used to have a tattoo on his arm because um he was like part of them, but he escaped. And I really feel connected with it at the moment because I'm getting my ancestors come from my ancestors and my Jewish ancestors. OK, so this might resonate with you that you've got ancestors coming and protecting you that you probably didn't even know nothing about. And they might start making you feel like how you should feel. Maybe you're dressing different. Maybe you dress different than your family. OK. Maybe um, you want to move to a place where you feel you're drawn to and maybe that's where your family are from, all right? So, yeah, so just find out what jobs your family members used to have, like the languages. Maybe you speak a different language as well, I heard. All right, the answers to these questions will help you understand who you are, all right? You can also feel good about your heritage yeah, and be proud of it as well because as you learn um, more about it, you'll know like who you are and learning about your family will help you feel closer to them as well right so this card also says that your past may be affecting you so it might just be about your past in your family or family member all right take it where it resonates and it asks you to remember anything in prior times related to your present circumstances there you go confirmation this always happens when i'm in here with you just don't ding all day all right, so this is confirmation. Your angels um, or ancestors are probably with me now. So, for instance, was there experiences in which you were scared, right, or you was hurt? This card means that you need to clear this past energy away, which you can do by talking to someone like a counsellor or just talk to a trusted friend. Or maybe write about it or ask your angels to heal you. Perhaps there was an experience so long ago that you've forgotten all about it. And you can ask your inner self, especially as you're falling asleep, to help you remember what you need to know. The most important time in your life is right now, guys, okay? So don't spend too much time focused on your family's past. However, learn about, learning about it will definitely help you enjoy yourself more right now. So take the time to ask your family and your inner mind, ask them some questions about your past, okay? So you could ask your angels about your past. Maybe they'll give you downloads about your past, all right? But put most of your energy just into enjoying all the present moments. So a lot of you might be feeling a lot about your childhood. You might be thinking about your past or it might be coming up. You might need to heal old wounds about your past, all right? So it might not even be about family culture. It might be about a family that you've left or a family that you don't talk to anymore, okay? Just take it where it fits, all right? So this is about your past, all right? Maybe you've got a lot of things to heal. Maybe you find being around horses heals you. Maybe you've got horses, all right? Like I said, maybe a lot of you are dressing different now and you're dressing more like how your ancestors used to dress. Because I know I am. I dress completely different 
um, to our My Family dress, all right? So look at the card and see what resonates with you, because you are psychic, and you, I know you are, and you're very spiritual, and you might be able to read this card different to how I'm um, talking about it, all right? So that's your first card, family culture, okay? We'll leave that one there. The next one you've got is you'll know in the morning, okay? So when you wake up, you'll have a better better idea about what to do. So just relax today, all right? Let's have a look. Right, oh, come straight up. There you go. Straight away that came up for you. <laughs> I love it. My cards never, ever let me down. Right, I know there's a glare, guys. I'm sorry, because um, I've got my curtains open. I probably should have shut them, but then it's too um, dark, all right? You can still see the picture. It's only there. I'm cutting off the bottom, all right? Sorry, it's annoying. I'm not great on the camera, guys. This is all a bit new to me as well. So, one reason that you feel unsure right now is that you're trying too hard to know the answer about something, all right? The best thing to do is just let go and just relax. The answer is right there for you. As soon as you stop trying so hard, you'll know what to do. In this case, the best solution is to sleep on it. When you awaken, you'll have a much better idea about the best plan of action. During your dream time, the angels and unicorns will show you how to come up with a happy solution. They'll show you that the power of love and light can heal everything. They'll also help you find the strength to take action. Okay, so this is really an angel card today, all right? So for right now, don't worry, stop worrying, okay? And trust that your answers will be there for you when you wake up in the morning, all right? It may not be the whole answer, but it will at least guide you in the right direction. So sleep well. So some of you are obviously, like, worried about something, I feel. Maybe you're looking into the sky and trying to work out what's been going on, and maybe you just can't get the answers. So relax, all right, because it is true, when you relax, you do tend to get things come to you. So if you try too hard thinking about things, it just you just won't ever get there and you won't, all right? So ask your angels to put you to sleep. That's what I do. I just tell my angels, could you put me to sleep, please? Or they'll put you to sleep anyway. And then before you shut your eyes, just say, angels, could you please let me know on whatever situation that you're dealing with? And they will give it to you in downloads in your dreams, all right? But look at the card and you might resonate i'm sorry read it like how you want to read it you might be feeling sad about something in the past or maybe you don't know where to go in your future like she looks like she's ready to go but the horse doesn't really want to move because the horse looks sad as well maybe you've been on a long journey and you're tired and you're at the end of the road and you don't really know which way to go all right so i can see the darkness is behind you though there and there's a lot more brighter days coming it's a lot more brighter there and it looks like there you're on a bit of a hill so maybe if you dive forward the world's your oyster i just heard maybe like there's so much out there that you're going to discover all new purple on the card can mean healing so maybe you're healing towards a better future because purple is always healing for me and also it's a virgo color as well um purple all right and maybe you are feminine that's watching or you have a feminine energy. And like I said before, you might have horses and you might like horses. Maybe you want to go somewhere with horses. It'll make you feel um, a bit more calmer. So just relax, okay, and just see what happens. I am going to read you these two cards because I feel drawn to them. That's why I didn't put them away, all right? So let's have a look. Here we go, straight away. It's open, look. Let go of stress. See what I mean? You need to hear this today, guys. This is a very beautiful card, all right? Don't take on other people's stress, all right? If someone's going to try and stress you out or maybe they, um, you just feel a bit stressed, just let it go. And you've got a lot of purple in this card as well, all right? And this card, is, it is a lovely card, okay? It is. There's a little, um, I didn't notice that before. There's a little, um, not a troll, like a little, uh, maybe you're Irish, because it's like a little unicorn on there. I never noticed that on there before. And he's blowing a trumpet. So maybe your stress is behind you now. And um, you've got a little little angel. That's like a little... Um, I keep hearing, oh, be Jesus. <laughs> it's like, you might have Irish um, descendants, yeah? Because um, there's rabbits on there as well. So that could mean um, creating children. And um, 
it feels very spring to me this card what i'm reading on it at the moment and like i said there's a it looks like you're coming out of a forest so maybe you are coming out of um being in a very dark place and you're moving on to a brighter place i never noticed that before look there right let me put my book down sorry guys i'm always all over the place see there see there look there look like a little unicorn and he's blowing his trumpet look so maybe he's blowing the trumpet look and look how happy she looks look beautiful white horse as well it's a lovely card that is so just let go of stress guys all right and it opened straight up at this it did right i'm gonna hold it there for you get rid of the glare sorry guys so have a look at the card and just see what you feel guys all right so don't take on other people's stress all right stress all right steph i just said your main name might be steph stefano stephanie stephen that's what i just got then i've got names. i'll never get names normally very rarely for me to get names all right maybe you need to take steps forward all right i'm getting a lot of s's on this card your body has been tense okay because the people around you are wound up too tight so maybe you've got people around you that are quite stressed or you feel stressed or maybe it's stressy at work for you right this has made you think that you're the one that the sun's just come out guys behind me all right sorry i have to tell you because the sun is beaming in my bedroom now it's just literally come out bright sun it was raining a minute ago this has made you think that you're the one who's stressed when it's really them it's not you stress has had some bad effects on you such as making you feel very angry or sad okay yeah, the sun's shining on my back at the moment, guys. I feel this isn't you. This is someone else. This the sun's out for you, darling. Right. Someone may also have had some trouble sleeping, all right? Maybe you can't sleep very well at the moment. And now is the time to do something about this, all right? Stress can worsen things, so it's important to let it go. Breathe in a deep gulp of air and think about all the things that make you feel stressed. Then blow those things out. And the angels and unicorns will take them to heaven where everything is fixed. Stretch your arms and legs so that your body can let go of stress as well. So maybe some of you need to do some stretching. Maybe you need to do some yoga. Maybe you just need to get out and walk. It's coming up for you a lot to get out and walk. You just probably need to just move your body. Put some music on and have a little dance and let your body flow, okay? Dance with material as well. That's a really good thing. And your ancestors love watching you dance when you dance around, all right? So just have a stretch, guys. Now, what you want to do is think of something that makes you feel really happy, okay? You can also talk to a friend or just talk to your pet or your angels and unicorns. You don't have to feel stress or anger or sadness, and you don't. You have the power to choose your thoughts and feelings yourself. The unicorns hope that you'll choose to feel happy right now. So guys, if you're feeling stressed, just think happy thoughts. Do everything positive. Wear brighter coloured clothes. All right, maybe put your lights on indoors if it feels a bit dark. Pull back your curtains, okay? Just try and make everything positive. Eat more fruit as well because that does help. Drink more water. That helps as well. And like I said, go out for a walk. Go and look at pretty things. Just keep everything positive because it might not be you might be someone around you projecting their negative energy onto you which is making you feel a little bit like well i don't normally feel stressed or maybe you woke up happy and you think oh i feel a little bit ratty now well, it's not your energy okay someone's probably projecting or it could be your energy right next to this you won't believe it <laughs> you can't see it but it's on there is light and that's your next card so you've had two cards that are next to each other you're supposed to have these cards look so them two cards on that same page is exactly what card we've got underneath there. And I'm going to read that because that wasn't the card I pulled. But I'm drawn to this card for you, all right? Light, because they're on the same page. It's a bit weird that it was underneath that card. I'll go as I'm guided, guys, all right? So, light. See the light within yourself and everybody else. Everyone has a beautiful light within them. No matter what they look like or how they act, the light is pure. The more you focus on the light within others, the more that you can um, help them be healthy and happy. You can also protect your loved ones. 
yourself and your belongings by imagining them surrounded by light. So this card may mean that you or someone you love is in a situation which harsh with harsh energy around you right now. So this is following on from the other card, guys, all right? And they need extra spiritual protection. So this might be them or you guys, all right? Imagine them in an eggshell covering of light in your favourite colour or choose one of these. So you might want a, light, a white light to protect you. Maybe use a green light to heal you and a purple light for a better night's sleep now purple like i said is healing and it's also a virgo color so it's also lavender so if you can't sleep well at night try some lavender maybe spray a little bit of lavender on your pillow or get a lavender air freshener or lavender incense sticks all right so that's for your purple green light always heals you that's why i painted my lounge green because it feels very healing and it's also a forest color which the other card you had the forest maybe you live by the forest maybe you need to get out into a forest all right and white now white is always protection maybe get some white candles or if you've got them just light them put them around you when you're sitting there meditating okay and ask the angels to protect you with the white light or saying that green candle light a green candle to heal you or get a purple candle to put on at night all right make sure you don't leave it on at night while you're asleep guys all right candles can be very dangerous i know you know that but just i say what i'm i feel okay so maybe someone is around you projecting negative energy on you or what i'm feeling is maybe you have furniture in your house right that is from a partner or a family member that's quite negative maybe you need to bless it maybe you need to go and get some sage just say to the furniture i bless the furniture take anything negative off the furniture in jesus name amen all right put the candles around your furniture that's confirmation i've got burps again guys so maybe check your furniture, have a look around, see, you don't have to throw furniture away from people, you can just bless it guys, all right? it's because some people have got a lot of furniture from their family or exes, you'd have nothing left in your house, it'd be like a bed sit. So literally, focus on the light within other people, all right? and the more you can be healthy, the more happy you will feel, okay guys? See the light within yourself and everybody else. Maybe hang around people that are in a good light. Don't be around negative people. If people start talking negative, move away from them, okay? Just leave them. You want everything uplifting, all right? And everything full of light. Maybe you need to lighten your home up. Maybe you need to paint it more brighter because maybe it's a bit dull. Maybe because spring's coming, you just need to have a little change up, okay? Maybe you like gold, Maybe you like a lot of like reds and golds, okay? Just anything, anything. Maybe put some fairy lights as well. Just anything to make you feel lighter, which will make you feel happier, right? And like it says, everybody, everybody has got a beautiful light within them. No matter what you look like, it does not matter, okay? It does not matter. A light is pure, all right? So just focus on the light within others. And the more you feel happy and healthy, the better you will feel, okay? So, that one was underneath, all right, when we had let go of stress. Now, the next card we had was listen to your true feeling. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong, guys, all right? Maybe this might be the projection of the darkness, because, look, it's quite a dark background, yeah? And I feel like somebody maybe walked away from you. That's what I'm feeling. Maybe they ignored you. Yeah, maybe they're trying to project stuff on you because maybe they feel left out. Maybe they just feel like they're in a dark place and they're projecting their energy onto you. All right, this is what I am feeling on this card. So just listen to your true feelings, guys. Don't let other people talk you into doing anything that you know is wrong. All right, so here we go. This card means someone might ask you to do something against your better judgment. You may be tempted to give in, to please this other person. You might worry that if you say no, the other person won't like you anymore. 
But this card reminds you that it's very important for you to listen to your true feelings before taking any action. You must choose yourself what's right and what's wrong, okay? If you feel confused, then just talk to someone that you can trust, such as your mum, your dad, maybe a teacher, maybe a mentor, a best friend. You can also speak to your angels. In the end, though, you yourself must decide what is right for you. This choice must come from your inner voice, not from outside pressure, okay? So the choice is yours. Choose the path that will make you the happiest in the long run, not the other person. Some choices only feel good temporarily, remember, guys? And then afterwards, you'll feel let down. The best choices make you feel happy for a long time. To hear your true feelings, you'll need to make some quiet time for yourself. Just close the door of your room, turn off any noises, shut your eyes, take a deep breath in and just breathe deeply. Then ask the question in your mind what you want to ask and then listen to your body and listen to your heart. Listen to your mind. If you have to, write down everything that you think, see, hear and feel from within yourself. Take the action that you know in your heart is the right thing to do, guys, all right? So don't let anybody pressure you into anything. At the end of the day, it's what you want to do. You don't need to do things to make other people happy because this is your journey. You need to do things to make you happy now, guys, all right? So let go of stress. Don't take on other people's stress. Listen to your true feelings. Don't let people talk you into doing anything. Maybe your family are pressurising you. Maybe someone that feels familiar. I'm going very goosey, guys. Maybe someone who felt like family to you is going to make you bring up old stuff about old history from the past, which is going to make you feel stressed, all right? Don't allow it to happen. If you're worried about it, go to sleep. Before you go to sleep, ask your angels, okay? relax and just say to them i need to know answers could you help me and give me downloads in my sleep whatever you're thinking about today that's worrying you guys just leave it for today okay because you'll know in the morning all right just enjoy your saturday i'm going very very goosey guys on this and i am right i am going to do you a little prayer because i feel guided to do you a little prayer oh nearly dropped you there this is terrible, this blooming um, iPad, because I've got a very um, gloss surface here. Right, I'm going to ask my angels to guide me to a prayer. I'm just going to give it a flick. I always do this because it's better. I'm going to go nearer the back, they said. Right, made new. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and put a new right spirit within me. All right, so guys, just relax for a minute, okay? We're just going to end on this. Right, put your hands together, whatever you want to do, is however you feel comfortable, guys, all right? God, just be near, sorry, God, just to be near you is to be made new. You refresh everything you touch. Please, Father, come close. My heart has begun to darken and my spirit is unclean. The world would leave me as I am, but you promised to wash me clean and let me start again. Even as I ask you, I feel the change taking place. The closer you come, the more darkness you drive away. Thank you, Lord. No matter how many times I need it, your renewal is always available. It's who you are, and I love you for it. All right? So if you just feel like you may be going into a little bit of darkness, guys, or maybe someone who is around you might try and pull you into the darkness, guys, I'm feeling on this prayer. All right? Just ask God to wash you clean, okay, and to let you start again, all right? Now, the one next to it I am being very drawn to, right, it's called Miracle Enough. Will you never believe in me unless you see miraculous signs and wonders? It says, Lord, I don't need to see you give sight to the blind, hearing to the deaf or mobility to the paralyzed to know that you are who you say you are the miracle of this changed heart is all the proof that i need until you got hold of me 
stories of your power were just stories, but now they're evidence of what I know to be true. You are God. You can do anything. May I never take this for granted. May I never decide that unless cancer is cured or mountains moved, that you are not for me. May this heart, once cold and hard, be miracle enough for me. Now, I'm buzzing all over on this, guys, all right? So just take it, which prayer fits you, all right? I know this is a bit different, but I feel sometimes I have different people watching me, so I get guided to do things different. So don't worry about anything. Instead, just pray about everything. Tell God what you need, okay? And just thank him for what he's done for you, all right, guys? I love you guys. Have a beautiful Saturday. Any stresses or worries, don't worry today. Give it to the Lord and have a lovely Saturday. And ask your angels before you go to bed and you'll know in the morning, all right? I love you guys. If you want to hit that like button, smash that like button for me. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. It keeps my channel moving on so I can help as many people as possible, all right? I love you guys and I do. Please have a lovely weekend. Namaste. Mwah. Adios, guys.